The following takes place between the Canon 7D and the MixPre-D audio mixer. To set up the Canon 7D, you need to check that the charge battery and memory card are inserted. Insert the memory card via the panel on the right hand side. The grey button on the side should click to confirm it is secure. You can then turn the camera on as shown. Turn the switch located next to the eyepiece to the left to record video. To get the cleanest possible shots, turn the wheel on the top left to M to manually use all of its features. Also, switch the lens to manual focus. Now press the menu button. You will need to set white balance. This will be left on auto for now. You will need to ensure the view grid is off. This is on the fourth menu. This menu will also contain the video resolution settings. Ensure this is set to 1920 by 1080 at 25 frames per second. You can do this by holding the button on the top right and moving the wheel to get the desired ISO. In low light settings, you may need to boost the ISO to brighten the picture. You can set aperture depending on if you are over or underexposed. If underexposed, you will need to open the aperture to increase the amount of light hitting the sensor. If overexposed, you will need to close the aperture to reduce the amount of light. Put your subject into frame using the focus ring and digital zoom button. Once in focus, you can record by pressing the capture button. To record an audio reference to later sync in post-production, you will need to use the Rode mic. Ensure the mic has a 9 volt battery inserted and attach it to the hot shoe mount at the top of the camera and screw until secure. Plug it into the mic port on the side of the camera. You can turn it on by switching the top button on the back to the right and then set the cutoff button below it to minus 10 decibels. On the camera's menu, the audio recording should be left on auto as we will be recording our sound off the MixPre-D for a clearer sound. You are now able to record video and get basic audio from the Canon 7D. Next, set up the MixPre-D mixer, Tascam DR100 Mark II recorder and multiple microphones to record high quality audio. Attach the Sennheiser shotgun mic to the boom by screwing it on as demonstrated. If you are recording on location, you will need to use the softy wind cover to reduce wind noise and get a clearer sound. Then, plug the XLR cable into the back of the shotgun mic like so. Plug the other end into the mic in channel 1 on the mixer. Make sure the switch on top of the shotgun mic is set to external as we are powering it through the mixer. The mic powering switches on the mixer will need to be set to 48 volts. If you are using the radio mics, you will need to attach the microphone by locking the mini jack into the mic line on top of the transmitter. Then, attach the cable to the jack marked AF out on the receiver. Once again, locking the mini jack and plug the XLR cable into the channel 2 on the mixer. Gently squeeze both the plastic catches at the side to open the cover and insert the batteries. Make sure the frequency in both units correspond with each other to ensure that the signal is received clearly. Power the mixer by unscrewing the cap on the right side and placing two AA batteries with the positive side facing in. Turn the mixer on with the switch on the bottom right of the front panel. Switch this to the left to display internal so that the light above turns green. Then, turn both channels 1 and 2 faders down until they reach zero. Turn the headphone dial to halfway, attach the jack and plug in the headphones to where the symbol indicates. The return light should be off so that the sound is monitored through the mixer. Switch the 1kHz tone on and listen to confirm that you're recording off of the mixer. The lights above should appear green and match zero decibels. Turn this off again once you have listened. Fade up and switch track allocations between channel 1 and 2 depending on what you want to listen to. The output should be set to line. Plug in the shorter XLR cables into the MixPre-D line output on the right hand side. The input should plug into the recorder. Make sure that each input in the recorder corresponds with the output on the mixer. Next, set up the Tascam DR100 Mark II recorder. Insert an SD card into the SD panel on top of the recorder. Start up the unit by pressing and holding the symbolised on button on the left side of the recorder until Tascam DR100 Mark II is displayed on the screen. Select line 1 on the switch on the bottom of the recorder between the XLR cables. Select XLR on the input switch on the front panel. On the back of the recorder, switch the plus 48 volt switch off as you only need it on when a condenser mic is connected. The level meter shows the input signal. On the scale, a downwards facing triangle will indicate the level which will help you adjust to minus 18 decibels. Before recording, you should ensure that 30 seconds of tone is recorded so that post-production can easily tell what level the sound is supposed to be. Connect the right angled mini jack on the left hand side of the recorder into the headphones. Using the wheels on the side of the recorder, adjust the incoming tone to minus 18 decibels.
To listen from the recorder, press the return button on the Mix Pre-D. Listen between the mix and recorder whilst adjusting the Tascam's headphone volume wheel until it's the same volume as the mixer. Turn the tone off and check the playback via the recorder. Now you have set up all the equipment you need to shoot and record audio.